I'm Alex. And I'm Claire. And welcome to Indigo Pine. We are Team Clemson here in Clemson, South Carolina, and this is Indigo Pine East. Our goal is to build an innovative, affordable, three-bedroom home built for a family of four using innovative methods and materials for the home. Let's head on to the porch and we'll talk about the foundation. Indigo Pine is built on a CMU foundation, that is, cinder blocks. Around the perimeter of the home and down the center, we've taken reinforced, anchored, and concrete-filled CMU blocks. Those carry the primary load of the house and keep it anchored to the ground. Within that perimeter, we've taken CMU blocks and instead of stacking them vertically where the holes shoot up towards the sky, we've stacked them horizontally so the holes are open parallel to the ground. That creates a big thermal mass and air channel under the house. We are able to pull air through that thermal mass to our air handling system on the north side of the house, which preheats or pre-cools the air and thus allows for less load on the HVAC system. It's an energy efficient and passive way that we're handling energy in the home. So let's head inside. So here we are in our main living space, which houses the kitchen, dining, and living spaces of the home. Here in Indigo Pine East, we have Simply Exposed, which is made up of plywood that you can get at your local home improvement stores. It's taken to a computer controlled cutting machine called a CNC, or basically these wood pieces are cut out into a giant 3D jigsaw puzzle which is then reinforced with stainless steel zip ties. This allows us to omit the use of nails, nail guns, and other dangerous machinery. Furthermore, allowing you to use and build this house with unskilled labor. This is the largest room of the home and one of the first things you'll notice is the bay of double hung windows. Not only do these windows provide light into this room, but during the winter months they also help heat the house. On this wall is our galley style kitchen, where all of our energy efficient appliances will go. Our dining room table will be right about here, and on the far side of the room we'll have our entertainment system, where the television and all of the house's um, electronic systems will go. So with this entertainment system, you can be introduced to our wall partition system. Rather than a standard home which has interior walls that go straight from floor to ceiling and also help structure the house, our system can be brought in through the doors after the home is built, forming the walls wherever you would like them, allowing you to reform the house however you like as while you're living there. It also provides ample storage and lots of places to put your belongings. Let's move to the kids' bedrooms. Here we are in one of the two smaller bedrooms of the home. As Alex mentioned earlier, this is a thousand square foot home. It's pretty unusual to have a three bedroom home in such a tight um, square footage. But we thought it was really important for us to have three different bedrooms because our target market is a typical South Carolina family of four. These bedrooms fit a small twin bed as well as a desk. And for us, that's plenty of space for children. We really want the kids to be out in the main living space with the rest of the family or on the porch enjoying the outdoors. One of the really interesting features of these two eastern bedrooms are our shared closet space. When the children are young, you can have this space opened up so they can cross easily between the two bedrooms. Or when they get older, you can actually turn a door and lock it into place so these become two private bedrooms. That also leaves you a lot of reconfigurable space for when your kids move out, you can turn the rooms into a study or an office. This is the second children's bedroom. Again, it's just a mirror image of the first one. It fits a small bed and a desk. Let's move on to the bathroom. So within a thousand square foot home, it's important to maximize the use of every space. So rather than have two separate bathrooms, we've divided our bathrooms into two separate entities. So we have one room with a toilet and a sink and another with a tub and a sink. This allows us to mitigate those early bathroom fights when everyone's trying to get ready in the morning and also to use the space as efficiently as possible. Also in this room you can see how the plumbing and electrical wiring holes are pre-built into our Simply system to allow for a no guesswork construction method that helps efficiency during the construction process. These thick wall cavities also allow for a huge amount of insulation to have a high R value for these walls. Let's talk about some other energy aspects of the home. This hot water heater is DC powered. It is directly connected to solar panels on the roof. 
That means that all of the water in this house is heated by the sun. We use a mini split system to heat and cool the home, which is also another energy efficient way to manage our energy needs. We've mounted 34 solar panels on the roof, both of the house and the porch. Let's move on to the master bedroom. So here we are in our master bedroom where you can see these interior partitions really coming into play. Just on the other side of this wall is our galley kitchen, while here you have the storage in your master bedroom. You may wonder why these bedrooms are so small, but we really want to encourage living, uh, living spaces to be in the main areas of the home, whereas the bedrooms are for more of the quiet activities. Let's move out onto the porch. Team Clemson has also taken advantage of CNC technology in the siding of the home. We've created panels that are cut from ACM, aluminum composite material, and we placed them on a CNC bed, cut them, and etched them so that they can be folded on two sides, screwed directly to the siding, to the sheathing of the house, and riveted by hand into place. You can see that there's a two inch gap between the sheathing of the house and the siding itself, which makes a nice air barrier, keeping the house as insulated as possible. Within these panels, there are holes to create vertical channels so that when heat hits the exterior of the house, instead of going directly onto the sheathing, it moves straight up and escapes the house. On this particular wall, we experimented with two different colors, but in California, you'll see an all-white house because it was the best one to deflect heat from the sun. With South Carolina having a temperate climate for the majority of the year, it's important to have a large front porch where you can sit out and enjoy the great weather. This porch allows you to sit out with family and friends, drink a great glass of sweet tea, and enjoy indigo pine. We hope you come see us in California. Bye!